So in this module, what we're gonna take a look at it uh, is uh, if I uh, go to this Redif mail, uh, it will take me to this uh, section and let's say without entering username and password, if I click on sign in, then I got this alert, right? And it blocks my screen. I cannot execute anything further. So this is uh, basically a JavaScript alert. This is an alert. So what I need to do in this test, I will be uh, getting the text that is showing on this alert. That is, please enter valid username and password, and then I'll click on OK. So this is uh, what we gonna take a look uh, how these alerts will actually gonna work. How we actually gonna handle alert, right? So this is a bit a tricky one, right? A tricky one. I'm saying because. Uh, will gonna have some hard time in locating elements uh, i will gonna have some hard time in locating elements on uh, this uh, redif.com application this is also a web app but uh, let's see what all challenges we're gonna face so i'll create a new uh, class over here and i again give it a name as test alerts copy the initial code from here uh, here and paste it here. So this is an interesting example. Um, so what we're gonna do? Uh, I just changed this URL to ready. Right. Let's save this. And very first, I want to click on the Reddit main link. So I'll say uh, driver dot find element by dot link text, and I'll give the link text as Reddit mail dot. So we'll do it step by step, and we'll see if everything works. So let it run and it goes to Redif. Taking a bit time. Oh, give me a moment. Maybe the app didn't come up and it got an exception. All right, so let's see. Uh, the app is still not loaded. So let's try to load it again. Let's try running it again. So I'll quit it and clean up the session. Run this. Sometimes it depends on your uh, net connectivity speed as well. Give me a moment, let me uh, turn on the Wi Fi again. And let's try executing this test once more. All right, this time it should work. And it did go to Redif and it clicked on this link, right? Now what I need to do, uh, I need to click on sign in. So how to get uh, the locator of sign in? If I go back over here, uh, this is Redif mail. I go to Redif mail and over here it opens up like this, right? 
So this is uh, a go button, right? But over here, there's a different locator sign in. So we probably, uh, we might get the same locator or we might not get the same locator over here, right? It, it, it happens. I mean, uh, you, if you like try to enter something in the username, the username got the ID as login1. Now, if I try to enter uh, the same uh, locator over here, if I say driver dot find element by dot ID, and if I give this ID and say dot send keys, and let's say give the name as uh, Raman, save this and run this again. It goes to Reddit mail and it didn't print anything and it, it didn't type anything in the username section you can see and there are no errors because it's still waiting we have an implicit wait over here for 20 seconds so it will gonna wait for 20 seconds and then it will uh, time out if it didn't find the element but the element is already there see it timed out element could not be located on the page right so why the element is not located it is because uh, the id that i have given over here this is for uh, the application that is opened by, by a browser by, by actual firefox browser but if you are opening the same application uh, through this uh, safari on uh, your ios app right uh, through your ios uh, safari browser then there are some changes in the locators they have designed this particular based on the mobile uh, application on the mobile web app only so how we can uh, access the locators of these elements so there is only one way that we can do here your apm inspector will also not going to work because this is a web app apm inspector only works on your native uh, or uh, like your hybrid app a standalone app but on a web app uh, it will not going to work so what to do over here uh, we can do one thing uh, let's say after clicking on Reddit mail, uh, what it should do, it should get the page source. Driver dot get page source. I should actually try to print this page source. And let's comment it out for the time. So let's run this again. these are some of the challenges that you will face a lot when you're working on a mobile web app okay and let's try to search on for the login element over here let's see if it has given the login thing over here or not so it is actually what it has returned as soon as it clicked uh, on the Reddit uh, mail link it has uh, actually given the same uh, Reddit.com uh, source code right one of the thing is uh, either i can apply some fred dot sleep over here because implicit weight will not gonna work over here i'll give them thread dot sleep for five seconds and then i'll try to get the page source because what's happening as soon as it clicks on uh reddit mail link at the same time it is actually trying to get the page source and we are actually getting the page source uh, of this page and not this page, but we need the page source of this page. So what we can do, I'll just, uh, uh, okay, it has stopped it automatically. So I'll just run it again. And this time it should give the page source of uh, the second page. And now it will get me the page source of this page. So this is a different page source. Right. Now over here, if we search for login. So this is uh, one of the thing. I mean, if we could have a fire button, fire path, we get all these things very easily. But here we need to search it manually. So manually, we're going to search for the name login. Right. This is the input text and the name is login. 
it has got the class as this right and okay the name is login name we can work with the name right name uh, we're gonna work so for password there there is no name given over here right and but we have the class as float l okay this we can take okay for password there is a name password input type password input uh, name login so we can use these these locators so i can show you right now i can if i'll instead of id if i say if i uncomment it say by dot name and the name goes as login and same thing I'll uh, give a password you can see there is this no ID field over here no ID attribute but over here you can see uh, the ID is this although the name is the same but ID is there on a web browser it's not there on the uh, iOS browser right Safari browser so for the password uh, the name is this can copy it and paste it and give some password right so let's run this once more and let's see if it types these two values or not oh, oh, oh okay 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 and see it has typed the username and password so this is how sometimes you need to take a page source of uh, your web app that is open through uh, a mobile device or ios simulator right and then you should be able to locate these elements right now what i need to do i don't want to enter username and password i don't want to enter them, enter them because i will get the alert once username and password are not entered so i need to click on sign in so let's see uh, the locator for sign in over here so sign in where is sign in for password uh, is this right after password we have a checkbox remember me this is remember checkbox and after this we have the submit button so we can say type equal to submit so type equal to submit uh, it should be only one over here uh, i can actually uh, make uh, xpath based on it or i can make uh, css based on it it, it uh, completely uh, depends on your choice whether you want to uh, use xpath or css i sometimes when i'm working on android or iphone devices i prefer css uh, as compared to xpath because xpaths are a bit slow so i can uh, write something like uh, so uh, what i can do i can write driver dot find element by dot css selector I, i'll use a css selector over here and this is an input tag i can say input uh, type equal to sum right and then i'll say dot select. so i'll just comment out these two things because uh, i want to just click on that submit button right okay so that thing is gone uh i'll just okay let's run this code and bring up the emulator again let's it click on sign in yes it clicked on sign in right so what i need to do i need to now click on this ok button and we will not be able to get the x path of this ok button so if you see over here uh, you're not gonna get this text as well that says uh, please enter your username and password something like this Please enter valid username and password. If you search for it as well, please enter 
see it's not finding it it's not finding it so you're not going to get this thing over here because this is a javascript alert this is a javascript alert and to handle this alert there is an interface that we need to call and that is basically alert so we're going we'll to say alert alert equal to driver dot switch to dot alert right alert alert equal to driver dot switch to dot alert we're going to import this alert interface and then we'll say alert dot get text this will going to get the text out of that alert right and i'll just print it and then i'll say alert dot accept so this will gonna click on the ok button and accept the alert so we have two options available either i can accept it or i can dismiss it so i'll if i run this now again so what will happen let's see if it clicks on that alert or not Close to Rediff, clicked on Rediff mail, we have a sleep time for 5 seconds, it will wait for, for see it clicked on sign in and then it clicked on OK. And you can see the alert text is uh, printed in the console as well, please enter valid username and password. So this is how you uh, will going to handle uh, an alert on your web app.